Hello friends, the topic of this video is hilum of lung. So first we will see how we define the hilum of lung. Then we will see what is the difference between the hilum and the root of lung. Most of the students, they think that the root of the lung and the hilum are one and the same thing. No, they are different and we will see how these two terms are different. Now this topic is very important because not only in the theory exams the questions are asked from this topic in the practical examination also in the spotting as well as in viva voci the questions are asked from this topic. So let us see in theory exams what kind of questions are asked from this topic. They are you can be asked to write short note on either hilum or root of lungs or you could be asked to draw label diagram to show structures passing through the hilum of either right lung or left lung or both the lungs. Then you can be also asked to enumerate the structures passing through the hilum of the right or left lung from before backwards or from above downwards. Let us now define what is hilum of lung. So in this picture you can see here this is a comma shaped area through which a number of structures are passing through. You can see the red colored right here. The arteries are there, veins are there and the nerves are there. So this area which you see here comma shaped area this is known as hilum of lung. In Latin the hilum means uh, depression. So this area is slightly depressed from the surrounding area. So we can define that the hilum of lung is the area of lung through which the structures either enter or leave the lungs. As I said earlier, the hilum and the root of lung, they are not one and the same. So let us see how they are different from each other. So in case of root of lung, it is, you can see in this picture, this is the root of lung. And here you can see the hilum of the lung. So the root of lung is a short pedicle that connects lung to the mediastinum. And which structures in the mediastinum? Mainly it is the heart and the trachea. And what does it consist of? It consists of structures passing to and from the lung to the mediastinum. So basically you can say that the root is made up of all those structures which are entering the lung or leaving the lung. And they are covered by a layer of pleura known as the mediastinal pleura. So here we can see now the hilum of the lung. What is hilum of the lung? As described earlier, this is a comma shaped area of lung through which the structures either enter or leave the lung. So basically now it is very clear. Hilum of lung is the area of the lung, right? Through which the structures are either entering or leaving the lung. Whereas the root of lung is made up of those structures which are either entering the lung or leaving the lung. So this is the main difference. Now about the pleura. So relation to the pleura. Structures of lung root they are surrounded by extension of mediastinal pleura which you can see here. Right. This is part of parietal pleura and at the margins of the hilum of lung the mediastinal pleura will become continuous with the visceral pleura which is tightly adherent to the lung here. Whereas in case of hilum of lung obviously this is not covered by any pleura. On the margins you can see here the attachment of the mediastinal layer of the pleura which extends downwards as pulmonary ligament. Now where exactly the root of lung is located at which vertebral level? It is situated opposite to the bodies of T5 to T7 vertebra. Now structures passing through the hilum of lung. As I said they are going to enter or leave the lung right and they will be mainly from either from the blood vessels in the mediastinum trachea which is present in the mediastinum and the heart so let us see what all you need to go into the lung or leave the lung you need some blood vessels some arteries some veins then you need a bronchus to take the air into the lung and you also need something which will drain the lymphatics from the lung right so these are the structures that will be present so let us start with uh, the artery here you have two kinds of arteries here first is the pulmonary artery which will take deoxygenated blood to the lung and we also need to have bronchial arteries which are going to supply the bronchial tree right so in case of left lung we have two bronchial arteries on the right side we have only one bronchial artery then veins 
so here we will have bronchial veins also along with the bronchial arteries and we will have pulmonary veins these pulmonary veins they will bring the oxygenated blood back from the lungs to the heart so that's why you can see here the pulmonary veins they are colored red whereas the pulmonary artery is colored blue so we have two sets of blood vessels here pulmonary and bronchial now next thing is the bronchus we have the principal or the primary bronchus on the left side there is only one it does not divide at the hilum the principal bronchus on the right side the principal bronchus divides into two epiarterial and hypiarterial bronchus and then enter the lung separately so that will be there bronchus is there then what else will be there the lymph nodes will be there and these lymph nodes are known as bronchopulmonary lymph nodes right so as the name suggests the lung tissue ends here and the bronchial tree uh, the principal bronchus will be present there at this level at their junction so that's why the name is bronchopulmonary lymph nodes what else we need now this is a visceral organ the lung so it needs autonomic nervous a nerve supply supply also sorry it needs autonomic nerve supply also so we will have anterior pulmonary plexus and posterior plexus what is going to contribute to this plexus the parasympathetic will be from the vagus and the sympathetic will be from some uh, thoracic spinal segments right so that will be forming the plexus and then they will supply the bronchial tree of the lungs so these are the structures which will pass through hilum of lung so how these structures are arranged at the hilum of the lung from before backwards right so often you are asked in enumeration to write down the structures passing through the hilum from before backwards right you cannot write haphazardly you have to be precise now in both right and left lung the arrangement will be same so let us see which structure would be placed anteriorly the anterior most structure will be the superior pulmonary vein so as i said earlier you have two pulmonary veins this is right lung this is left lung so this is anterior aspect this is posterior and this case this is anterior and this is posterior so the anterior most structure will be the superior pulmonary vein right in both the lungs next structure would be pulmonary artery which you can see here this is the pulmonary artery and the posterior most structure will be the bronchus right so you can see a bronchus in case of right lung we call this bronchus as the hype arterial bronchus along with the bronchial vessels now how do you remember this to remember this you should just remember that the structure which has got thinnest wall will be anteriorly placed then that is the pulmonary vein then the pulmonary artery which has a slightly thicker wall and bronchus obviously has got the thickest wall because it has got cartilages in its wall right so the pulmonary vein most anterior then pulmonary artery and then the bronchus would be there so this arrangement is similar in both the lungs arrangement from above downwards let us see again we can see this is right lung and the left lung first let us look at the right lung so here in the right lung as i said earlier the difference would be because the principal bronchus divides into epiarterial bronchus and the hypiarterial bronchus as the name suggests epiarterials mean above the artery and hypiarterial means below the pulmonary artery right so that's how they are arranged also so from above downwards the uppermost structure would be epiarterial bronchus then would be the pulmonary artery then we will have the hypiarterial bronchus along with the bronchial vessels and the lower most structure would be the inferior pulmonary vein now the inferior pulmonary vein here okay so how do you remember this uh, actually if you forget about this epiarterial bronchus for some time then look at this the artery it starts with the letter a right then bronchus starts with the letter b and the vein starts with the letter v so alphabetically if you see a comes before b and b comes before v so that way you can remember so pulmonary artery then hypiarterial bronchus then inferior pulmonary vein now you just put the epiarterial bronchus above the artery on the left side the arrangement will be or similar to that on the right the only difference would be that we have only one principal bronchus we don't have a arterial or hypo arterial principal uh, bronchi so here the arrangement is simple the uppermost structure would be pulmonary artery 
then we will have the bronchus and the inferior pulmonary vein remember the alphabetical arrangement a b and v okay so this is how they are arranged so that's all for this video thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed please subscribe my channel so that i can put more such videos and if you want uh, the questions and answers in anatomy all types of that then visit the website that is anatomyqa.com thanks once again